Dealing with disappointment is a tough thing to handle when it comes to drawing, art, and it's something uh, recently that I've, I've, I've kind of learned to deal with the best, I think, so far in my art journey in these six years or, or ten years now that I've been kind of working on painting and drawing and all this stuff, um, but it's kind of evolved over the years. But this last month, December, and I mentioned this in my previous drawing video, that I've been painting every day for the past month, uh, December 2019. And what I've really learned uh, during this time is, you know, I was doing some good paintings at the beginning, and then, of course, there comes a time where I do a crappy painting, a painting that I'm not exactly thrilled with. And sometimes they're a complete failure, although I haven't really had many of those. I don't even know if I had a complete failure. But I've had some that just aren't that good. Like I wouldn't ever even post them online, um, you know, for sale or to even show because it's just it's a learning experience and I'd probably have to repaint it. I could probably repaint it and do it better. Um, you know, the first time is kind of a <laughs> what not to do. But what I, what I found is is during this whole month of painting every day, and I think this applies to any kind of art, drawing, whatever, I just happen to paint a lot. You know, I, I paint a lot more than I draw, but what I found is now that when I do a crappy painting like that, doing this one painting a day, uh, it doesn't even really affect me anymore. It's just kind of like, yeah, I, I, you know, sometimes I feel a little bit bummed, like, yeah, I did a crappy painting, but I already have so many that have turned out good, and a lot of the times I know why it turned out bad badly. Um, you know, usually I overworked it. I just painted too much. You know, I ended up just messing with it too much. And uh, I kind of, I, I've kind of learned to detach myself from the outcome. You know, lowering my expectations or really having no expectations. You know, just going into it open-minded. I don't know how this painting is going to turn out. I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping that it's going to be a good painting or a good drawing. But I know that... It's kind of like hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. And I think a lot of us as artists, we don't really think about that for the most part. We just hope we we hope it's going to turn out the best. And then when it doesn't, we blame ourselves. We have this this mechanism within us like, oh, we suck at this. We can't do this because we did a crappy drawing or a crappy painting. But it's not reality. It's not truth. You know, it's your perception of things, but it doesn't mean that you suck at something just means that particular drawing and that particular painting uh, didn't turn out for some reason. And usually you can pinpoint the reasons. Mm. Usually it's because of uh, you overworked it. Maybe you the values are wrong. The proportions are off. Uh, you messed something up in, in those regards, those aspects. Color, value, edges. Uh, maybe the composition is bad. You know, there's, there's these technical things that you can point to to look at and understand like, okay, that's why the painting is bad. It's not because I'm bad at this particular thing. It's just these particular aspects didn't turn out um, in the best possible, best possible scenario. And, and you can always redo a painting or a drawing. You can always redo it um, and learn from it. I plan on, on doing that, I think, with a lot of my failed paintings at least the ones I think that are have interesting compositions, but I ended up not painting them as well. You know, I think I could repaint them and it would be a lot stronger and better because I learned from the first time. But, you know, it's kind of hard to tell you specifically how to deal with disappointment. I think the more you do something, like if you end up drawing every single day, you start to realize that, okay, even though I did a crappy drawing today, like tomorrow's a whole new day and it's going to be a different drawing or a different part of the drawing that you're working on and it can turn out better. You know, there's always there's always hope for tomorrow. There's always hope for another day, another drawing. And you, you don't even have to wait till the next day. You can just try another drawing, just start over. Um, I do that plenty of times. Uh, you know, yesterday, actually, speaking of today, yesterday I did three paintings in one day and all of them were kind of crappy they weren't like my best paintings 
you know, if I had to rate them like one to 10, a lot of them were probably like a five. They were just kind of, you know, kind of not my worst, but not my best, or just kind of in the middle, like, eh, I could improve them. You know, I'd have to redo them and I could definitely improve them because I overworked them. But I'm, I wasn't too bummed about it. I wasn't like overly upset about it. And I think it, it's, it takes, I think it takes time. It's like, it's like anything else. It's that persistence and repetition and just learning to not have these expectations. Obviously hope for the best. Obviously be hopeful that you're going to create something great. But be prepared that it's not going to go the way you want. I mean, that's life, right? Things don't always go the way you want. And we kind of have to get rid of this, uh, I don't know what you call it, like the spoiled child within you. You know, if you don't get what you want, you start throwing a fit or you get upset. You know, I think we have to step back from our work and realize that we are not our work. Uh, it's something that we create but it's not our work. It's like if someone's critiquing your work and I think most artists deal with this at the very beginning of their journey is someone critiques their work and then they get upset. They take it personally because you put so much effort into what you create. You feel like it's a part of you and it definitely is in some aspect, but it's not about you. They're not critiquing you. They're critiquing your work. And I think you have to do the same for yourself. Be kind to yourself. Realize that it's just something you created in like an hour out of one day and uh, just know that it's not it's not you and that you can you're gonna do better you're gonna improve you just have to keep going so anyway hope this hope this video helped you out just sharing a little bit of my experiences lately and uh, I feel like the more that I do the more I detach myself from the outcome hope for the best and just do my best while I'm painting or drawing and uh, I'm a lot I'm just I'm focusing on having fun in the moment, in the process. Even if the painting turns out crappy, a lot of the times the process was fun for me. And I learned from that. So keep on painting and drawing. Don't get discouraged. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.